People who stay focused the longest win. Last week I listened to a clip of Dan Penny at a Castle seminar, and he mentioned that there were several people that asked him a question of what separates those who succeed from those that fail. And that's what he said. People who stay focused the longest win. The only thing I would add to that is it's absolutely true that people who stay focused the longest win as long as they take massive action. You can be focused on something, but if that focus doesn't include action, kissing a lot of frogs, uh, then not much happens. So I would encourage you to remember that. We're now at June 1st. Half the year is almost gone, and it's important to take a look back and say, okay, am I on track? Am I accomplishing what I hoped that I would accomplish by this point? Uh, At the end of this month, we will be six months through the year, half of it gone. Time does fly fast, and absolutely, uh, this is a time that's pretty unique. There are lots of things happening with COVID-19 that make it a great buyer's market opportunity, but that won't last forever. For instance, in assisted living, they are scared to death of what this has done to their business and what the opportunity is as far as an impact on the business. And so there's an opportunity to talk to those people. But once there's a vaccine, I don't think that the same fear will be there. And that will apply to many, many businesses. So this is, as I see it and as Dan sees it, clearly a time to go ahead and work QLA. Uh, There's never been a better time, in my opinion, than there is right now for QLA. And as the biggest part of that, yes, banks are spending more time putting out stimulus money and working on loans that aren't uh, performing. Uh, So they're spending less time on deals and new acquisitions. However, that said, uh, that translates down to accountants and lawyers. So there's even a better opportunity now, and in the last month, I've seen much more flexibility from the accountants and lawyers on discounted and rolled fees. And in terms of discounted fees for failed transactions, that can be as high as 100%, and we've seen that in recent cases. Depends on how good your deal is, depends on how skilled you are at selling the vision of what you want to do. But I would remember that. If you don't know where to start, um, you can look at the free materials on Dan's site. You can look at the free materials on my site. And one of the best things that I've done are the boot camp recordings, which are now recorded. You can purchase those. You get a new recording every week for seven weeks. And it's the best training that I have done on the QLA methodology. So certainly, you know, go to brucewhipple.com, get those free materials, If you go up under the Work With Me section, uh, you can find the boot camp recording, certainly. So I'd encourage you to do that. Okay, any questions? You can certainly uh, send me a comment or email on that. But this is the time. And remember, people who stay focused the longest win as long as they're taking massive action. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments or ideas for future episodes, please email bruce at brucewhipple.com. And if you're not already on our mailing list, head over to brucewhipple.com and sign up and grab any of the free reports. That'll put you on the mailing list. There is a lot of free information you can use to acquire already profitable businesses. This is Bruce Whipple. Thanks for listening to the Business Acquisition Podcast. And remember, you miss 100% of the opportunities you fail to take. And procrastination truly is the thief of time. So do something today, please. Your future self will be proud of you.